my observation has been that if there's a tight relationship and if one party is betrayed by the other in that manner that it's almost always irreconcilable it breaks it you know in Dante's Inferno when he outlined the levels of hell Dante was trying to get to the bottom of what constituted evil and there's something absolutely the worst at the bottom and Dante believed that it was betrayal one of the things that enables long-term cooperation, peaceful cooperation between people, is trust. If you have a relationship with someone, it's predicated on trust. And as long as you'll do what you say you'll do, then I can take you at your word. But then if that trust is betrayed, then all the snakes come forth very, very rapidly. And so what happens if, if you're in a relationship with someone and you trust them, then you make certain assumptions about the past, then you make certain assumptions about the present, and you make certain assumptions about the future. And everything's stable, and so you're standing on solid ground. But then if the person betrays you, one moment you're one place where everything is secure, and the next second, really, the next second, you're in a completely different place. you say, well, if someone betrays you, you think, well, okay, who were you? Because you weren't who I thought you were, and I thought I knew you, but I didn't know you at all. And I never knew you, and so all the things we did together, those weren't the things that I thought were happening. Something else was happening, and you're, you were someone else, and that means I'm someone else because I thought I knew what was going on, and clearly I don't. All of that certainty, that habitable certainty, collapses right back into the potential from which it emerged and that's a terrifying thing that's a journey to the underworld we've all been there and we go there all the time and we go there every time the solidity and stability of the world that we've erected at least partly through our speech is shattered because well some sort of snake appears you know, no matter how carefully you construct the little habitable area that's around you, there's always something you didn't take into account, and there's always something that can pop up its head and do you in. If someone really cuts you off at the knees, especially if they do it in a malevolent way, and, and if you're going to be betrayed, and you really want to be betrayed properly, you want to be betrayed by someone who's really out to hurt you. you plunge into that underworld space and that's also when you start to nurse feelings of resentment and aggrievement and murder and homicide and even worse you know because if people are betrayed enough they start they start to obsess about the utility of being itself and perhaps go to places that no one would ever want to go if they were in the right mind and to and to develop and nurse fantasies of the ultimate revenge That's a horrible place to be, and that's hell, as far as I can tell. And that's why hell has always been a suburb of the underworld, because if, if you get plunged into a situation that you don't understand and things are not good for you anymore, it's only one step from being completely confused to being completely outraged and resentful, and then it's only one step from there to really looking for revenge. And that can take you places that, well, that that merely to imagine properly can be traumatic and I've seen that happen with people many times and I think that anybody who uses their imagination on themselves can see how that happens because I don't imagine there's a single person that hasn't nursed fairly intense fantasies of revenge at least at one point in their life it's no picnic to get betrayed that's for sure and it can shake your faith in being but it, if it shakes it so badly that you turn against being itself, that's certainly no solution, that's for sure. All it does is make everything that's bad even worse.